Hey what's up everyone, in today's video I wanted to show you guys how you can download the Google Play Store on your iOS device. So if you've been wanting to download some apps that are strictly for Android devices but you have an iOS device yourself, don't worry, you'll be able to do that after installing it. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be flipping my camera screen over, I'm going to show you guys using my own iPhone and I'm going to show you that I do have the app, the Google Play Store app, and how you can download and install it for yourself in your own iOS device. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay everyone, so as you can see I'm on my iPhone here and I want to show you that I do have the Play Store myself. So here it is. So there you go. If you want to be able to have it yourself, we can go ahead and continue. So as you can see, I have it here. I can look for games from the Play Store and all that stuff that I want to download. So yeah, let's go ahead and continue. So as iOS users, the first thing that we want to do is head to settings and we're just going to head to battery. And first, we just want to make sure that we have low power mode turned off just like that and that we have at least 10% battery in our device and we should be good to go there. Now we're going to head back to settings and we are going to click general and then we're going to click background app refresh down here and then up here and we are just going to select either Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi and cellular data whichever works best for you totally fine just do not select the off option just one of these two. Now we're going to head back to general and we're going to click about and we're just going to confirm that we have at least iOS 11. So as you can see, mine is 16.1, so I'm good to go there. Of course, if you have anything above that um, and above iOS 11 in general, you're good to go. But if you don't have at least that, make sure that you upgrade your iOS version just to make sure that the app is compatible with your device. Okay, so we are done there. We're going to head back to our main settings and we're going to head down to Safari. Click there once you find it and head all the way down to advanced and click there once again. And our final step would be to have JavaScript enabled just like that. And that way we can make sure that where we can find our app, we'll be able to download and install it without any issues. So that's basically it for our settings adjustments. Now, what can we do to be able to have the Google Play Store ourselves, just like I have it in my own iPhone? Well, basically what you want to do after that is head to your web browser. You can use Safari or if you have any other preferred web browser, totally fine. You're going to open it up and then you're just going to head over here. So you're going to head over there and you're going to follow the instructions there and you'll be able to get your app. So once again, guys, head over there, follow the instructions, only takes about five minutes, maybe even less, and you'll be able to have your Google Play Store in your own iOS device, download, installed, and be able to find all the cool apps and games that you can only see in the Play Store. So yeah, guys, that's basically it for today's tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye.